as you can see here guys, I'm sanding off that top coat on my tumbler. Uh, you need to do this so that way the resin can really stick to it. Now I've gone ahead and I have painted my tumbler white. Um, so that way the glitter that I'm using on top, the silver doesn't show through it. I'm going ahead and I'm putting my first layer of resin down and uh, so that way I can put the, gl uh, the glitter on top of that and uh, it'll stick to the entire tumbler. And uh, so I'm going to be doing that. Now that I've gotten my resin all on my cup, I'm going to go ahead and start putting all of my glow-in-the-dark glitter here. And, uh, and I'm probably going to have to do a couple of layers of, uh, of this glitter, uh, so that way it's nice and covered. So uh, I'll probably go ahead and resin over it again and then um, and put more glitter on it, so that way it's nice and thick. Now that my resin has cured and dried with the glitter on it, I'm gonna go ahead and put this top coat of, of resin on it, sealing that glitter down. So that way uh, it will have this nice, great, beautiful coat over it. It's gonna make that glitter pop. And, uh, and so we need to go ahead and get that, that coat of resin on it to seal it all in. Okay, so now that my resin has dried over my uh, glitter layer, um, this is the fun part. This is where I can actually start lining out my cup with the, with the tape, putting on my designs, that kind of thing. Um, right now, I'm, I'm making stripes on my tumbler, so that way uh, it could add some character and definition. So I'm, I'm measuring that out and taping that out. So uh, that's what I'm doing right here. Next, I'll be adding the decals and such um, after I spray paint uh, the tumbler. Now, I really, really love this part because what I'm doing is called weeding the uh, the vinyl that we printed off on the Cricut and these were really detailed so it took me a long time to do these and uh, so I just have to take this pick looking tool and I have to pick all the vinyl that's been cut that's not supposed to be there and so that's what you see happening here once I uh, once I take all that vinyl out that needs to be pulled out it makes these really you can really see the zombie here and such come to life um, as I pull out uh, all that vinyl that's that I need to get out of there um, but it's so cool how it comes to life like that So what you're seeing here, you guys, is I got my uh, my vinyl decals down there um, with the transfer tape over it. Um, you're seeing that I have my white stripes painted on there. And what I did was I took a little bit of uh, tape and I put it on the, the stripe and pulled it off to make those breaks in the lines there. And what I'm doing is that I am taking off the backing of that vinyl uh, decal and so it sticks to that tape and whenever it sticks to that tape like that and I get it off that backing, 
um, it's really sticky on that side so I can use that to stick onto my tumbler and uh, it's so much fun doing this uh, it's so much fun but it is very uh, time-consuming and it is very uh, hard as you can see to get these decals just right so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on now that I've got my zombie decals on, what I'm doing is some of the line work. I'm taking some more of that vinyl that we cut into strips and uh, I'm using that to highlight the, uh, the, the white uh, spray painted lines that I did on there. Um, but I got my wording down, I've got my zombies on there and now I'm just really just going through and giving it the, some of the last touches um, that need to go on but uh, this came out so great I absolutely love how this tumbler came out um, and I love the zombies on it and everything so um, but this is yeah this is me just kind of finishing up some of the detail work on it guys so I have my lid here what I have to do is I have to sand the top of this lid so that way the resin that I put on there will stick to it and adhere to it and um, it's kind of very important you want to do this with your tumbler you want to do this with the lid here um, I took out the little piece that slides back and forth that closes the hole where the straw goes in where you drink out of um, I removed that because it's just kind of cumbersome and it gets in the way um, but you always want to use rubbing alcohol to clean up what you have sanded on your tumbler on the lid um, anytime you sand something you definitely want to use alcohol uh, to clean it off to make sure you get all those dust particles off. Okay, so now I get to play with some resin and I have the UV resin here with the UV resin light. Um, I have some uh, chipped ice, uh, ice cube looking uh, pieces of, uh, of resin there. I have some brains that I'm going to be putting on the top of it. Uh, this is so much fun. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of that UV resin in, in the cup and I'm gonna start building up slowly uh, the brains and the ice and that kind of thing. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the red uh, paint that we have. You only need a tiny, tiny bit uh, to incorporate that color. I mean, it just really, you just need a tiny bit. And uh, I'm gonna use that mixed in with that UV resin to start adhering everything. So as you can see, I'm using the UV light to like harden the resin there. Um, it's so great to use that, that UV resin whenever you're doing small things like this uh, because it just allows you to work very quickly um, with the resin and uh, gluing, like gluing pretty much everything down with it. But as you can see, I'm putting those chipped ice pieces. Um, I got my brains there, uh, so I'm putting them in the resin and uh, getting them to, to stick in there. And uh, yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun just getting all these brains together. So uh, on, on ice. So uh, I'm gonna continue to do that right here and uh, continue using the UV resin.
here it is. Here is the UV resin curing the last of my brains onto the tumbler. Uh, I love it, it looks like bloody brains. Uh, it's so great. Um, I just absolutely love how this turned out. So, got my brains in my, in my lid of my cup. All right, here's where I'm doing the blood drips down the tumbler. And what I'm doing is that I mixed up some of that, uh, some of this uh, resin, and uh, it's that quick set resin um, that I'm using. And uh, I mixed some of the red in with it. I'm just going along and I'm dabbing the, around the top of the tumbler. And, uh, and I'm going to just do like a few coats of this as it thickens and as it gets, as it dries. Um, but you just have to be kind of careful with it because it will run down the tumbler and you don't want it to run too far down the tumbler. So I actually had to like turn the tumbler upside down a few times and make to make sure that the, the blood drippings uh, didn't go too far because uh, you don't want it to go all the way halfway down your tumbler. So uh, what I did was I just watched it and I would turn it over upside down for a while and then I'd turn it back right side up and I did that until it was perfectly dry, like cured enough to where I could just leave it. All right, now that I have the, uh, the resin all dry from the drips and that kind of thing, my blood drips, I'm gonna put the final coat of resin all over it. And um, what this does is that one last final coat is that keeps the drippings from pulling up or breaking or, you know, cause you never know what can happen um, with that. Uh, it's not always guaranteed 100% that that's gonna stick to the cup perfectly. So I put a coat of resin over it um, just so that way that resin will hold everything down perfectly. You don't have to worry about your drips uh, and uh, it's just one more coat of protection to it all. So there you have it. <laughs> no, I was waiting for you to say it. Because it's your episode. <laughs> you say it. All right. So there you have so it. It's too late now. But we <laughs> I hope, we hope, yes. that you loved my episode, Tammy's, Amy's, Nate's, Kathleen's, Denise, and Jeremy's. Yes. We wanted to show you some different things for this Halloween collab. These are the things that we did. Yes. I know you saw these in our episode, but I tell you what, we're kind of both a little obsessed with the tumbler these days. I know. Let's, we are. Let's move a little forward. And we're gonna have to go on this. You might have to get your, your chops out of the camera. We hope you can really see the little, this is blooded popcorn I've got with an I know. axe. I have brains. Brains. Blood drips. Brains. So The Shining clearly was my inspiration and Jeremy's were zombies. Yes. Um, yeah, people put a lot of time and effort into these episodes and we know that you appreciate it because you come and watch them with us. Mm -hmm. But you know what would really help? To subscribe if you haven't. Yeah. So please, please go subscribe to Tammy, Amy, Nate, Kathleen, Janice and, well, you're already here with us. Um, but if you haven't subscribed, please do. And sharing these episodes to your socials mm -hmm. helps us reach your audiences, reach yes. your peoples, your friends, your, your family. And some of those might be friends of Massey Posse, or some of those might be new cos creations, or, or new Just Janice pals too. So please consider sharing to your socials as well. Yeah, and please like. As well. 
and then you know you can comment too. I feel like we're asking you to do too much now, but if there's two things that you can do, just please subscribe and share to your socials. That'd be really helpful. Um, we didn't say this officially, but thank you so much for getting us over 20,000. Yes. We're now 20,100 subscribers, so yeah, that was very so cool. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. Seriously cool. And we know, you know, I'm sure if you were following the channels, May the 23rd, 24th, 25th is the next Fluid Art Experience. Mm -hmm. And the information for that is going to be released on the week of November the 14th. Yes. With some special guests, with some announcements, and then the website going live on November the 18th. So um, if you're not heading over to Ireland for the Fluid Art Boutique, which is where they've got their event, and you want to stay in the States, come and see us. We'll be somewhere local-ish to you, May the 23rd, May the 24th, May the 25th. It's Memorial Day weekend. It is. So, thank you for being here with us in this little short premiere train. Have a great rest of your weekend and rest of your week. Yeah. We'll see you both. Very, we'll see you both. Just the two of you that are watching. We'll see you all <laughs> very soon. All right, guys. Thanks very much. Bye. Bye.